Joining me now, President of Toronto FC, Bill Manning, who I know is with the club in Florida. And Bill, we've already seen the team in action three times, and TFC fans would also love to know when they can see their team live. But of course, we also know that the new restrictions put in place by the Ontario government don't lift until May 20th. How does that affect TFC's plans in, in coming home, whether it's just to come home to see family or finally start playing games at BMO Field? Yeah, well, you know, advancing in CONCACAF, we're going to stay down here. We were hoping to get back the end of April for a few days like we did last year. Um, but we're going to be here. We have a very congested schedule. Um, we have a long break after the May 29th game. And, and the goal is to be able to get back to Toronto and train in Toronto um, like we've done in the past. And, and whether we can play in Toronto is, is, is still, you know, up for much discussion. But... Um, you know, we will be fully vaccinated by the end of April, our entire travel party, with the exception of one or two individuals. Um, and so we no longer should be what, what we would, were considered before a public health threat. And so we're hoping that mm -hmm. um, there's going to be opportunity for us to stay back home and, and uh, you know, eventually be playing at BMO Field again. But even if we have to play outside of Canada to start with, um, you know, we think it's important that we can get back to Toronto and train and people could be with their families. We've had a number of families arrive already, though, today. There's a lot of kids running around down here now. And so mm -hmm. it's uh, it's actually, um, you know, we didn't have a great result this weekend, but we got back and all the families arrived yesterday. So it was, it was actually a fun day. Well, let's talk about, you know, the results, obviously doing great in CONCACAF Champions League, um, but a little different to start the MLS season. Given the three games now, what you've seen with your team, do you plan on adding that third DP? And what does that DP look like? What particular position are you going to try and target? Yeah, uh, we, we do plan on adding it, and, and, and we've, we've honed in on a player that we're very interested in um, right now. Um, we're looking for an attacking player. We're looking for someone that can can score goals, someone that can that can create goals, um, a dynamic player, um, you know, someone that can dribble, take guys on, but also someone in, under Chris's system that's going to work hard and that's going to, um, you know, give an honest effort every single game. And so um, we are we're excited about our prospects. Um, and like I've said all along, though. We weren't going to rush into this and get someone who wasn't going to fit our system um, and, and, you know, someone that was not the player that we needed. And so we're, uh, we are going to add that, that attacking player, and I think it's just going to further strengthen the team. I'd be remiss if I didn't try to ask for a little sneak peek into who this player could be. Any kind of hint? No, because, you know, these things, <laughs> they're, they're so complicated, and so I always... Mm -hmm. I hate to to go there, but we uh, in the past week or so we've really honed in on, on a player that you know the question is do you wait until the until the July, which is actually less of a budget mm -hmm. charge um, the way our cap works, mm -hmm. um, but we have such a congested schedule especially now that we advanced um, in Concacaf Champions League and the games are going to be coming um, fast and. You know, as we saw this weekend, it's a lot to ask of our guys to go Wednesday, Saturday, um, especially as we did this weekend. We were just a bit flat coming off that very physical, emotional win on Wednesday night. And so we're going to have to dig deep into our roster. And so uh, the more quality players we have on our roster, the better. Congested schedule, but also um, an injured team. It is pretty depleted with a, a lot of top players still dealing with injuries. So by necessity, you're playing your younger guys, again, looking really good in CONCACAF Champions League. But is there also a business incentive to playing the young players? We've never looked at it that way. They have to earn their time. And, and, and I would argue they have. They have earned their time. These guys are competing every single day in training. Um, you know, Ralph Preso and Noble Akello, Jacob Schaffelberg, guys you've seen out there, um, they're earning their starting spots. And that's what we want. We want there to be competition. And certainly, you know, Osorio is going to find his way onto the field, as is Pozuelo. Um, but these guys are earning their spots. We, we, we never want to be a franchise that puts our 
are homegrown players out there just because they're homegrown players. They have to earn their spot. And, you know, Io is is right there in terms of coming back. You saw what he did a year ago. Um, we, we have some guys. Oso is back training full now. And so we, we have some guys coming back in. So we're, we're, we're not as beat up as we were a week ago um, with some of the guys coming back. But, you know, some of our kids have arrived and we're really excited about their futures.